Okay, so now let's discuss question number 37. So in question number 37, we have two conditions here. And we have quantity A and we have quantity B. Now let's look at these two conditions. So we have A equal B by 2 and C equal 3B, right? So let's simplify these two conditions. The first condition is A equal B by 2. Now you can write it like B equal twice A. Now, if you look at the second condition, we have C equal 3B. So you can write here C equal 3B. Now, we know that B equal twice A. So just put the value of B here. So C equal 2 into 2A. Okay, so that is C equal 3B actually. So just write it 3 here. So then you get 3 into 2a so that means c equals 6a now if you look at quantity a so in quantity a we have a and if you look at quantity b in quantity b we have c now we know that c equals 6a right so just put 6a in quantity b now when you put 6a in quantity b so your comparison is much simpler right now so you have to compare between A and 6A, right? Now, suppose A is positive. Let's consider A is positive. So positive. So that means A greater than zero. So if A greater than zero, what will happen? So when A greater than zero, so you can put like A equal one. So if you put A equal one, so quantity A will be one, right? And what will be the quantity B? So six into one, that is six. So definitely six is greater than one, right? So quantity B should be greater than quantity A. Now let's check another possibility. Suppose we consider A equal is positive here, right? So A can be negative also, right? So let's consider A is negative. A is negative. Now, when A will be negative, what will happen? So A is negative means A less than zero. So let's consider A equal minus one. Now, just put it here, A equal minus one, and we have six into minus one, that is minus six. Now you know that minus six is smaller than minus one, right? So that means minus one is greater than minus six, so looks, so we got opposite direction for the second case. So in first case, quantity B is greater than quantity A. Here, in the second case, quantity A is greater than quantity B, right? So now check another condition. A can be also zero, right? So A equals zero, which is also a possibility. Because we, in condition, we have nothing mentioned regarding what will be the value of A. So variable A can be positive variable a can be negative as well as variable a can be zero also right so a is zero in that case this quantity will be zero right and if you look at this quantity 6a so 6 into 0 so that means quantity b is also zero so that means quantity a equal quantity b now for different cases we get different results like for case number one quantity b is greater for case number two, quantity A is greater. And for case number three, quantity A equal quantity B. So that means we can say, what is the answer? Can you say? So in this case, we cannot determine the relationship from the information given, right? So our answer must be D. Okay, so now in question number 41, we have two conditions, X greater than Y and X, Y not equal to G. So x, y not equal zero, that means x cannot be zero and y cannot be zero. So they cannot be zero. These two variables cannot be zero. Now in quantity A, we have an expression. In quantity B, we have another algebraic expression. Now for this type of question, it is better to choose some values for those variables and test those options in quantity A and quantity B. It seems like a tricky question, right? So let's pick some vari variable values. I mean, for some values for X and Y. So X is greater than Y. So you have to choose or you have to pick values as a way so that X greater than Y and X, Y not equal zero. That means they cannot be zero. 
So you can choose like x equal two, y equal one, y equal one. Now test the quantity a. Just put x equal two and y equal one in quantity a. So we have x equal two, so x square, so we have four and y equal one, so one plus one by one. That means four by one plus one equal two, All right? So you get two in quantity A. Now comes the quantity B. We have y equal one, so one square equal one. Then we have two plus one by two. Now we have one, just make LCM here, four plus one. So that means we get one by five by two. We can write it two by five. Now, if you look at these two quantities, so quantity A, that is two, is definitely greater than this fraction two by five, right? So we can say quantity A is greater than quantity B. Now, we have taken the positive values for both X and Y. Now, if we take negative values for both X and Y, what will happen? Let's check it. So X equal, so X should be greater than Y. So X equal minus one and Y equal minus two. So we know that minus one is greater than minus two, right? Okay, now put it here. So we have X equal minus one, so minus one square. Okay, that is basically plus one. Okay, so then we have y equal minus two, so minus two plus one by minus two here. So one here and we have here, just make it LCM. So we have minus two and minus minus plus four plus one. So you get, so minus two by five. Right, so minus two by five. Now come in quantity B, so x equal minus one, y equal minus two. So minus two whole square, then x equal minus one plus one by minus one. So minus two whole square, that is plus four. And we have here minus one, minus one, that is minus two. So we get how much that is minus two okay so now if you look at these two quantities in quantity a we get minus two by five and we in, that is the fraction and in quantity b we get minus two so you know that minus two by five is definitely greater than minus two right so still quantity a is greater than quantity b so we have chosen both x and y positive here we have chosen both x and y negative here okay it seems like quantity a is greater than quantity b always right okay let's check another case suppose if if we consider x is positive value because x is greater than y so if, if just consider x is positive value and y is some negative value because all negative value is less than the positive value right so just choose i mean x equal some positive value suppose if you can choose x equal two right that is a positive value and you choose y equal some negative value right y equal minus two just choose it and check what, what will happen now we have x square here so just put x square x square equal four here and y equal minus two so minus two plus one by minus two right then what you get just we have four make it lcm so we get minus two minus two into minus two so that is plus four then we have plus one now we get four into minus two by five right minus two by five so we get minus eight by five that is quantity a now Let's come in quantity B. We have y square, so minus two 
squared. Then we have x, x equal positive 2, so 2 plus 1 by 2. Let's simplify it. So this is 4, and we have, let's make it as same, 4 plus 1, so that is 5 plus 10. So we get 4 into 2 by 5. So how much that is? So 8 by 5. Okay, now if you look at these two quantities, can you see this is minus 8 by 5, right? So this is minus 8 by 5. And if you look at quantity A, that is the same quantity, but it is plus 2 by 5, right? So it is plus 2, uh, 8 by 5. And it is minus 8 by 5. So quantity B is greater, right? For this case. Now for the first two cases, we get quantity A is greater. But for the last cases, somehow we get quantity B is greater, right? So if quantity B is greater sometimes, and if quantity A is greater sometimes, then that means we cannot define the relationship, right, from the information given. So we must have to pick answer choice T. Okay, so now in question number 44, we have if x square minus 2xy equal 84 and x minus y equal minus 10. What is the value of modulus y? So we have to find the value of modulus y. Now this type of question you can solve very quickly if you can recognize the formula. We have x minus y here, right? So can you remember this formula? So x minus y whole square. What is the formula for x minus y whole square? So you know that x minus y whole square equal x square minus 2xy plus y square, right? Now we have x minus y here. So x minus y equal 10. So just put it here. So that, that means it should be 10 square. And then equal x square minus 2xy. So we have the value for x square minus 2xy, right? So x square minus 2xy. So it is given here, that is 84. Just put it 84 here, then plus y squared. Now we get here 100 equal 84 plus y squared. Now we have here 100 minus 84 equal y squared, right? Then you get 16 equal y squared. So that means we can say y equal plus minus root over 16. So y equal plus 4 or minus 4, right? So there are two possible values for y. Now we have to find, so y is not our answer, so we have to find modulus of y. So what will be the modulus of y for this case? So you know, we have y equal plus 4. So if you make the modulus of plus 4, you get what? You get plus 4. Now, if we have another possibility, minus 4. So if you make the modulus of minus 4, what you get? So minus 4 equal, that is also plus 4, right? So this is a numeric entry question. So you get for both the cases, if it is plus 4, you get plus 4. If you get minus 4, the modulus of minus 4 is also minus 4. So our answer is 4, just put 4 in the box.